gonna make some earth batteries you got to use dense thick material all right so you can use these for the outer shell of the battery and can use the copper core grounding rods and you can cut them to make the batteries or you can leave them huge and bury them deep in the ground but you have to use saran wrap to isolate them from everything else because you want to put them in series their sheer size is going to give you your amperage okay so if you make your bank see this right here is going to be about two volts there's only three of them hooked up let's see Point one five volts, and there's only three of them. So that'd be about 0.7 a piece, 7, 14, 21. So this one would be 28. I'm, I'm just being, I'm not going to be optimistic on it. If, if I was, I'd say about 9. Because usually it's about 0.7 to 0.9, depending on how well it's made. But the amperage is going to go up. I'm, I have no idea what the amperage is. This is kind of cheap, so I can't really get much. But look. <laughs> Look at it. It's, he's still holding it on there on the ground on that one. I'm putting it in the ground here. And I'm getting 1.5 volt potential difference. You know? So when you isolate them in the ground with saran wrap, wrap the chute. That's okay. You can, you can let it go ahead. And just isolate it. Yeah, you can go inside. Isolate it with some saran wrap. Bury it in the ground. Fill all the dirt that you took out back in here. Okay? Drive the stake, the core, the iron rod, the nucleus down the middle okay pack the dirt you might even need to have, add some because the more you have the more area the more surface area you have okay so if you leave them in this form you're gonna get a lot of energy you're gonna get a lot of more a lot of amperage a lot of amperage and you only need a small area I mean literally you can drive this thing deep into the ground and only have like a uh, you know five by five square foot area depending on how many you put in series you see what I'm saying but it's I think, and I understand that the laden jars, I mean, basically that's all these are is laden jars. And you have the small ones, you know, you, you, you can get a high kilovolt ver uh, or, or coronal uh, discharge, you know, the capacitance, basically. Now, if you, if you want capacitance, all you have to do is wrap foil, put a foil plate on here. Because the saran wrap is going to be the dielectric in between the plates, okay? So you have your foil on here that's separated from the inside here. So you have a capacitor plate on the inside, which is the the battery body, and then you have a capacitor plate on the outside of it. So it's a battery and a capacitor at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So you can make a battery capacitor, bury them in the ground, make sure they're isolated, you know, so they don't ground out with each other, connect them in series, or you can connect them and get more amperage, however you want to do it, you know. Volts and amperage are synonymous with each other, you know, Ohm's law, so, and that's where your wattage is, but if you keep them in this form, as big as they are, and you put a whole bunch of them together, I bet that's a lot of power. I mean, I'm saying like a, a 10 by 10 square foot area or something, you know, and, and a battery that big with a grounding rod this dense. See what I'm saying? Because that's where the energy's at. So then you could literally hook like a, a wind generator up to it, a wind generator into it, and you'd be able to feed the electrons from the air into this while they're all isolated batteries and they can still power whatever it is you need, you know. Or you can hook a solar panel up to it. Or you could an uh, antenna, you know, hook up to it, get you a little bit more energy, you know. I mean, basically it's like a, a energy harvester, but you need your battery supply. I mean, everything needs its batteries, you know. Then you have your capacitance, your generation, you know, stuff like that. So basically you're going to start with your batteries, a, a natural form of batteries, and you really want surface area.